Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I get a lot of questions about viscous couplers. Should I run one? What do they do? What are they? How do they work? What fluid to put in them, etc., etc. Well, just to demystify everything, this is this is what's inside your viscous coupler. That viscous coupler. This is a one take video, by the way. So if it's terrible, just bear with me. Um, this is the stack up in your viscous coupler. As you can see, the discs do not touch. Well, the video makes it seem as though they touch, but they don't. So, basically, you're gonna stay put. You have these discs with the circles in them that key to your shaft, and then you have the discs with the teeth on the outside that key to the pattern on the inside of the housing. So, right about here, I started rambling to the point where I don't even understand what I was talking about. So, as you can see, there are round hole discs that key to the shaft, and there are oval hole discs that key to the inside of the case. They're all submerged in very, very heavy fluid. So, the resistance of the discs spinning in the fluid effectively transmits torque to the rear of the car. So th there's no mechanical connection, there's there's no clutch, there's no direct link mechanically to the rear of the car. All of this is done by literally the shearing properties of the fluid. That's why you should probably make sure yours is right and not worn out or burn up or anything like that. If you guys need a guy, I sure know a guy. Relative to the shape. So, it's important to service them. All these units look like they came out the bottom of the ocean. Um, all of them are from the 80s and early 90s. All of them have already lived a full service life in their original vehicle. Most of you guys will find them from junkyards, online, part outs. Everyone's taking these couplers and then trying to shove five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand horsepower through them and it makes a big difference on the condition and state of your viscous coupler on how your car performs um but yeah so this has been a really basic short overview 